Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amish Sharma. Today we are going to solve a question of linear algebra from CSIR net number 2020. The question is from the topic inner product space. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, let n be a positive integer and f be a non-empty proper subset of 1, 2, up to n. Define inner product x, y over f is equal to summation k belongs to f xk into yk where x is x1, x2 up to xn, y is y1, y2 up to yn belongs to r to the power n. Let t containing x belongs to r to the power n such that inner product of x with x over f is 0. Which of the following statements are true for y belongs to r to the power n and y is not equal to 0? Option 1. Infimum x belongs to t, inner product of x plus y with x plus y over f is equal to inner product of y with y over f. Option 2. Supremum x belongs to t, the inner product of x plus y with x plus y over f is equal to inner product of y with y over f. Option 3. Infimum x belongs to t, inner product of x plus y with x plus y over f less than inner product of y with y over f. Option 4. Supremum x belongs to t, inner product of x plus y with x plus y over f greater than inner product of y with y over f. To solve the question, it is required to learn the following result. Result Let v be a real vector space. Suppose to each pair of vector u, v belongs to v. There is assigned a real number denoted by inner product u, v known as inner product on v if it satisfy the following axioms. Axiom 1. Inner product of a u1 plus b u2 with v is equal to a into inner product of u1 with v plus b into inner product of u2 with v. This is known as linear property. Axiom 2. Inner product of u, v is equal to inner product of v, u. This is known as symmetry property. Axiom 3. Inner product of u with u is greater than or equal to 0 and inner product of u, u is 0 if and only if u is 0. This is known as positive definite property. Given that n be a positive integer and f be a non-empty proper subset of 1, 2, up to n. Now the inner product of x with y over f is equal to summation k belongs to f xk into yk where x is x1, x2 up to xn and y is y1, y2, yn belongs to r to the power n. Also, t is x belongs to r to the power n such that inner product of x, x over f is 0. This implies summation i belongs to f xi square is equal to 0. This further implies as x is equal to 0. Now, in freemum, x belongs to t inner product of x plus y with x plus y over f is equal to in freemum, x belongs to t inner product of y with y over f because x is 0 which is further written as inner product of y with y. Therefore, option 1 is true and option 3 is false. Again, supremum x belongs to t inner product of x plus y with x plus y over f is equal to supremum x belongs to t inner product of y with y over f because x is 0, which is further written as inner product of y with y. Therefore, option 2 is true and option 4 is false. Hence, options 1 and 2 are true. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.